Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. We, today we're going to fix an issue for the port uh, in Springboard. So Springboard, um, when I try to run this application, because I want to run the Hello World, remember I use the Java, the default uh, Java file which came with it. When you put it there, I didn't create any file. So I guess you find the issue when I when you run this. When I run this. You can see this is building. You can see what is happening. It give me identify and stop the process that's listening to on port 88. Or configure this application to listen to. I think another port, something like that. So the problem is clear so this port is in use so i'm using ubuntu so which means uh my other stuff is used using what what um much run to php using apache to you know all those things so um so already i don't want to compromise that and when i'm going to my php stuff then i'm having some issues so the only solution for me for you you can change but for me is to change i mean you you can uh, leave it the way me i have to change this springboard to work on another port not this port because this port i use it for something else so <clears throat> um for instance i'm gonna take you to port 8080 uh using what can we use when we use chrome um I'm trying to open Chrome, you're gonna see. Because I wanted to show this hello world, this string. Wow, so. Um, I'm gonna say uh, local or oh, local host. Then I say eight zero eight zero. And I say okay. It shows me this page. You can see, which means this page is not is used. So I can't see what I want here. So the solution is simple. Uh, I'm gonna change the port programmatically. Not to go to any file, but uh, there are some solutions whereby people go to another file and uh, I want to comment this code because I might take it out after. Um, um, I'm going to say changing. Right. Let's see. Minimize that so that you guys you can see. Um, changing port to eight zero nine zero okay that's what we're gonna change it to okay uh, I think I'm gonna try my best to if you can see the code I'm gonna put it somewhere on the website and put the link in the comments in the description below so that you can access that code okay uh, don't want to spend a lot of time doing that you just copy and paste well, that's what you're gonna do. The code you're gonna start by saying here um, at uh, gonna say component. down here and say public class uh, change port creating a class to change the port implement so 
Is it too weird? Okay. So the web. Uh, web server. Factory. Factory custom. It's gonna be customizer. Okay. It's a Tomcat. Server. Server late. Late web server factory. So that's going to be one of our stuff. Then you can, and it, it will close in there. So you can click here and it tells you something. Create Tomcat Server Factory package. OK. If it tells you that, it's fine. But let's make sure we got this right. Once that line is right, then everything is going to be fine. You don't need to do any spelling mistakes and all that. Okay, if it tells you like that, you just click here. Let me see, change port, install abstract method. Okay, if you say that, then you do implement. Okay. Okay, you just click there, then it's going to create for you that abstract method you can see it okay did public uh override you can see it did create for you uh override custom or whatever tomcat server all that is right then factory here this way we're gonna change here i'm gonna take everything here away and we come here and say factory dot set port yes so one is there then you can put eight zero eight zero eight nine right okay you still find some error what is the error here hmm. let's see Okay, there's no error here. Okay, let's try to run this. This is the only code you need to add on your stuff. Let's run it. We don't want to see this this message, this red message. Run. Okay, we're done. You can see when we scroll here, down here, that message is gone. There's no red message anymore. Okay, let's prove it. We go here. We're going to use this port 89. Okay, instead of 88, we're going to say 89. Say okay. What's wrong with this? It should work. Eight zero eight nine. Uh, no, okay, let's change it to eight. It's gonna be nine zero. Nine zero. Okay. Don't worry, guys. We're gonna run it again. Okay. The message is no more there, but the port we are supposed to put a different port. There's no 
ما ایراز Well that is good let's put 89 something is disappointing me here let's refresh fresh local host um, let's see Firefox phone firefox that could work for me okay let me see okay forward slash hello okay yes it worked guys you can see so i couldn't access this because the page is not there so we had to also put the concatenate put the page on the at the last you can see the page is what hello world so how can we prove to that to you uh uh, you can see world you can see this message hello world right okay that's right uh, okay we can run it again you want to try to refresh Command execution failed just because of changing here. Let me see why is it failing. something wrong I did so uh, but that's the solution let's see okay we stop that stop everything and let's run this again went wrong here yes it's still working uh -huh. All I needed to do is uh, there's something which I don't want to get involved in, but uh, you saw how we fixed it. So the only thing I wanted to do, I wanted to change this string just with this and I save it and I run file. it doesn't refresh here something went wrong all right but there's no oh so we ran it too many times okay this was a port which was listening to that also tells us that so but then I'm gonna say port 80 Okay, let's try that port and we run the file because we haven't used that. Mm. 
good there is no no error so let's try to refresh here our command see okay This is the page we say hello okay okay so if we run it again it might show us the prompt because it's gonna be maybe something else it submits this to that then when you leave it it's gonna be doing the same thing so i can as well close this and say the exit because you see the many processes are going on okay when i exit then i say okay okay then i can restart it local host okay let's leave it like that for now i'm gonna do that okay still okay well guys um i think that's it uh what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna write uh create a, a web page where we're going to show you our stuff uh, what they call let me run this where we're gonna post the code we use in this uh, example you can see our stuff is running no errors no errors No errors, everything's fine. Uh, put eight zero eight three forward slash hello. Yeah, you can see now we restarted and showing us the new message. You can see the new message this we put last. Yeah, well, guys, thanks for watching. That is it. We fixed that. We're gonna put a link in the description for you to copy and paste the code where it has to be. Okay, guys, uh, you can see the code we used. It's so simple. This only this code to manipulate the, the port. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.